reactions because a lot of the behavior is driven by a lot of emotional distress that's caused by not being able to control your emotional response, having a very intense emotional response to things that happen to you. Uh, sometimes that's a biological thing that you're born with. Um, it also becomes a very physiological arousal that when you have an emotion, it's not just an emotion, but it becomes like a body state. And so sometimes that's why self-harm behavior is a solution because it helps calm the body down, for example. So dialectical behavior therapy, DBT, targets the emotional dysregulation, gives people skills for learning how to regulate their emotions in ways that are more skillful than just self-harming. Um, and it provides both the people who are engaging with the person and the person themselves with a way of thinking about the meaning of the behavior, how what the behavior is helping them to do, how it's causing them problems and giving them the chance to say, okay, I don't feel judged. I don't feel being told that I have to change and I'm bad because I'm doing these things. And I also, it, it gives people hope that they can actually do it. Cause I think another reason people don't like to be told that they need to change is cause they say, I don't know how. Right. I just don't know how. So when you just want to say you have to change, it can feel criti critical and invalidating, and it can also feel impossible. So DBT tries to um, take away the blame and the um, feeling that you're being told that you're not good because you're engaging in this behavior and saying, well, it makes sense that you're engaging in this behavior. You experience your emotions very intensely. Your body gets aroused. It starts to lead to this unbearable feeling of tension. And sometimes the only way you know how to uh, help yourself feel better is to engage in a self-harm behavior. That's a different kind of approach, I think. Mm -hmm.